All right, 2016, Amy 1, question 3. A regular isosceleshedron is a 20-faced solid where each face is an equilateral triangle and five triangles meet at every vertex. The regular isosceleshedron shown below has one vertex at the top, um, one vertex at the bottom, an upper pentagon of five vertices all adjacent to the top vertex and all in the same horizontal plane, and a lower pentagon of five vertices all adjacent to the bottom vertex and all in another horizontal plane. Find the number of paths from the top vertex to the bottom vertex such that each path goes downward or horizontally along an edge of the isosceledron and no vertex is repeated. So here's the idea. We're starting off up here and we're trying to get down here. One acceptable path there would be to go down, over, over, down, over, down. So that's what they're talking about. I can't go up, um, and I can't go all the way around and get back to a vertex I've already done. And this one I actually um, didn't find too hard. So if I start here, I just figure out how many choices I have at each step. And in here, I have one, two, three, four, five choices. So I'm going to start off with five possibilities. Now, when I get to a point, so let's just say I took this step down. From here, there are nine possibilities. Either I go down, down directly from here, or I go one, two, three, four. I can get to any one of these four vertices going sort of clockwise. Or I can go one, two, three, four. I can get to any one of these vertices going counterclockwise. So. There are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 possible paths I can take once I'm at one of these five vertices by going down. When I get to one of them I want to go down from, so let's just say I'm going down from this vertex here, I have two possibilities. I can either take the left or the right downward path. So two possibilities there. When I get down here, so let's just say I got I came down uh, this path, it's the same case as the green work up here. I have nine possible paths on this level. I can either go straight down, I can go one or two or three or four that way, so that's one, two, three, four, five possibilities. Or I can go six, seven, eight, nine, any one of those. So there are nine choices here. And once I've chosen a vertex to go down from, so let's just say I ended up here, I have no choice. I just go down and it's done. So all we do is multiply all of this stuff up. Five choices for the first, times nine choices for the second, times two choices for the triangles in the middle, times nine choices for the last will give me five times two is ten, nine times nine is eighty-one, ten times eighty-one is eight hundred ten. Comment with any questions and I'll move on to the next problem.